Uh, yeah, I think for me, um, uh, I suppose a time it was a challenge or something where I've really had to overcome uh, some hard times, I think it was probably 2014 uh, for me. Um, working on, I suppose, my mental health and well-being, something that I hadn't really thought of or hadn't even really heard of, to be honest. Um, playing at the highest level in my professional, you know, professional sports. Um, I was really probably struggling from... For a couple of years prior to 2014, uh, probably stemmed from my childhood and some you know, mm-hmm. challenges and trauma I had in my childhood. Um, and yeah, in 2014, you know, I think the you know, pressure and expectation of sports, um, not having you know, enough support around you know, my mental health and well-being, not being where it needed to be and on a bit of a decline, I think. Um, yeah, things just got too much. Uh, and I I rang my footy manager, um, told him I was really, really struggling, not sure with what, but I just knew that I wasn't this you know, happy young kid that I used to be um, when I was a kid, you know, playing sport on the weekends and all the things you do. And uh, he put me in contact with a nurse at a mental health facility, um, basically went there about three days later. Um, challenging, went there for three weeks, uh, middle of the footy season. Um, so I finished, basically quit footy for that season. Um, you know, going into that facility uh, wasn't easy, wasn't sure what to expect. Um, that night was on the news, photos of, of, you know, big story of me going in there. And I was seen it and watched it, which was, yeah, strange and, and hard, I guess, at the same time because you, mm-hmm. you're going through a challenge and it's, it's been played out, played out publicly as well. Uh, but at the same time, I think that was the best thing for me because um, for such a long period of time, I really um, didn't have to handle, how to handle the spotlight and the attention that comes with playing professional sport. It's not something that... Um, didn't come naturally to me. It's something I never, um, I suppose, sought out. It's just something that comes with the with the job, but um, something that I didn't really deal with well and didn't really accept very well. And I think moving forward is the best thing to for it to be paid, played out publicly, just so that I could really um, be open and honest and just move forward. I think uh, I try to hide my life away for such a long period of time, and um, that didn't work. So I needed to try something different. Um, but yeah, it was definitely a challenging period of time um, not knowing what was next not knowing who my support network was or you know my wife was around at the time not knowing if she was going to stay stay you know stick by my side or not um, didn't have a lot of friends not a, not much family you know sitting in this um, facility looking out the window at night you know wondering what my life would look like in the next couple of years you know it was quite scary and daunting but you know looking back now it's almost eight and a half years ago or so now um best decision I ever made in my life. You know, since then, so many things have changed. You know, my overall, just my mental health and well-being is uh, in a really good space, which I'm very, very proud of. But uh, flow on from that, I guess, all the things I think have positively happened in my life based on making some tough decisions then. Uh, things like um, returning to rugby league, um, you know, reconnecting with my wife, reconnecting with my mum, growing more support network. Uh, retiring from sport and moving on for a new chapter, which uh, would have been very daunting to, to do that back then. Uh, so a lot of positive things have happened. I've had, my, I've had three daughters and three ch- uh, children since then. Uh, so a lot of positive things have happened. I really put that down to overcoming that really challenging time, but also you know being strong and putting my hand up and getting that, seeking that help and make, trying to make a change. Um, a lot of good things in my life, I think, have happened because of it. So while on one hand it was challenging and daunting, um, I really look back on that as a fond time and a time of you know um, positivity for me yeah wow yeah thanks for sharing that darius